Edelweiss is a prefabricated, direct composite veneer system that utilizes ultra-dense Amelogen Plus composite as the restorative material. This system allows the clinician to get the results of an indirect veneer at a fraction of the cost. This step-by-step -step video will demonstrate a composite veneer procedure using ultra-dense minimally invasive techniques and the new Edelweiss composite veneer system. This Edelweiss composite veneer procedure was performed on the non-vital incisals to repair the occlusal line as a result of trauma, the receding gingival crest of the previously placed composite, and to ensure longer-term color stability. During the procedure, the clinician must maintain proper isolation of the operative field. To determine the correct Edelweiss composite veneer size to be used, place the Edelweiss sizing guide over the patient's teeth. This can also be done prior to the appointment on a stone model. Each Edelweiss composite kit contains six shades of Amelogen Plus composite. To determine the correct shade, use the dent inside of the provided shade tab to find the one that best matches your patient. Verify the shade using the veneer side of the tab. Conservatively prepare the tooth, cutting only enough to allow the composite veneer to fit properly. Adapt, shape, and fit the mesial and distal edges and gingival margin of the Edelweiss composite veneer. Pre-appointment adjusting can also be done on a stone model. It is recommended to avoid making adjustments to the incisal edge. Thin the gingival margin after adjusting length to ensure the proper convergence angle to the tooth. Next, trial fit the Edelweiss composite veneer to ensure it is the proper shape and that it is adapted correctly. If it doesn't fit correctly, continue to shape and trial fit the Edelweiss composite veneer until it is adapted correctly. You may also need to readjust the prepared tooth to ensure a proper fit. Roughen the inner surface of the Edelweiss composite veneer using an air abrasion unit or a diamond burr to prepare the veneer for bonding. Clean the inner surface of the Edelweiss composite veneer for 5 seconds with Ultra Etch. Completely rinse Ultra Etch from the Edelweiss composite veneer. Then, dry the veneer, leaving it slightly damp. If you use another etchant, follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Place Peak Universal Bond on the etched surface of the Edelweiss composite veneer and gently agitate for 10 seconds. Blow air using half pressure to thin and remove solvents. Light cure with Velo for 10 seconds on standard power mode or 20 seconds if using a curing light with an output less than 600 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Place mylar strips mesially and distally to isolate prepared teeth. Once the Edelweiss composite veneer has been prepared and bonded, etch the prepared tooth from the gingival margin to the labial surface of the incisal edge for 20 seconds with Ultra Etch. If you use another etchant, follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Completely rinse Ultra Etch from the tooth. Then dry the tooth, leaving it slightly damp. Place Peak Universal Bond on the etched surface of the tooth to be bonded and gently agitate for 10 seconds. Blow air using half pressure to thin and remove solvents. Light cure with Velo for 10 seconds on standard power mode or 20 seconds if using a curing light with an output less than 600 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Prepare to work with Amelogen Plus by cleaning your fingers with isopropyl alcohol wipes. Express approximately one centimeter of the predetermined shade of Amelogen Plus into the inner surface of the composite veneer. Using a composite instrument, adapt the composite to fill all areas of the Edelweiss composite veneer. The clinician may want to characterize the composite as desired inside the veneer to better match adjacent dentition. Place and press the Edelweiss composite veneer into position, allowing the excess composite to be expressed from the edges of the veneer. 
With an instrument, remove the excess composite from the incisal edge. With a point cure lens, tack cure the Edelweiss composite veneer to the tooth at the incisal edge with Velo for 3 seconds on standard power mode or 6 seconds if using a curing light with an output less than 600 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Remove excess composite from the rest of the margins. Pull the mylar strip across the facial surface of the veneer from the mesial and distal surfaces and cure the composite through the mylar strip. This will give a better contour to the composite and prevent the oxygen inhibited layer. Prior to final cure, deox can be placed on gingival margin to prevent the oxygen inhibited layer. Fully cure the composite with Velo on the lingual and facial surfaces for 20 seconds each on standard power mode or 40 seconds each if using a curing light with an output less than 600 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Finish the cervical margin and the incisal edge with a fine finishing diamond or a carbide finishing burr. Finish the interproximal margins using an interproximal diamond or a carbide finishing burr. Continue to finish interproximally using finishing strips and polishing strips. Polish all margins and the incisal edge using the Jiffy polishing cups. Start with the coarse green cups, then use the yellow cups. Finish polishing the marginal areas with the blue high shine finishing cups. Clinicians should use care when finishing to not remove the laser centered polished surface of the Edelweiss composite veneer. If the laser centered surface is disrupted during the finishing process, restore the polished surface with a Jiffy polishing brush. To find out more about any of our products, call our friendly customer services team at 1-800-552-5512 or visit our website at www.ultradent.com.